right, seems we have some hungry ducks. Let's feed the ducks! Let's get the boots on. Hi, little there. <laughs> I always forget to unlock, unlock it. And we got some hens to to move. These gals are anxious. So let's hurry and just get this duck feeder filled and then we'll get these girls over to uh, get them over to the garden. Sassy and Aspen. very fast. <laughs> Got water down my boot that time. I 
Gotta watch. Yeah, there's a cute little frog in there. I kind of pushed him down further. So I wouldn't accidentally step on him. He was moving slow. I took a picture, but a duck came by right then and kind of stirred up the mud. And it's a little bit cloudy. I don't think the picture really turned out. So I took one above the water and below the water to see. Two hundred, I meant to say two thousand five hundred and fifty seven. I got it a little bit weird. Two hundred and fifty seven grams. That's not very much. set you right up here and then I'm gonna go take them to so we've got sassy and Aspen take them to the garden They actually didn't like it very much in the house. 
It was a little too hot for them in the house. They were like, <laughs> oh, get me out of here, it's too stuffy. They sure are happy to be back. There's no update from yesterday. I mean, I don't. If the sheriff came, he came to the other side, and I'm not. I. The most important thing to me is that they that they take it serious and watch what they're doing from now on. Good morning, crowbar. For afternoon. They're looking good. Fiddler, how are you? Oh, and Spike is on the other side. Jasper, I hear a bill coming. I hear a bill. Buddy, he got amazing pictures yesterday. Oh, look, we're all zoomed in. There we go, how's that? That's better. Is it just me, or does 
crowbar seem a bit happier now that he doesn't have those mites. It seemed like he was slowing down. Now he's feeling great. Look at that magnificent tail. He's got, he's got one of the best looking tails. Well, Buddy, Buddy's got a good tail too. Oh, we just want to admire you. You don't have to run off. Don't run off. Okay, well, we'll just admire Crowbar. <laughs> Just a little. I don't know if it's a swelling. Um, hopefully it's not like a tumor that's caused him to go blind. That could be. That could be hard. But yeah, it's uh, it's abnormal. Definitely abnormal. Everybody's got up getting on the roof today. We've got Jasper up here. The roof's the place to be. <laughs> oh no, what do we have? Bill walks off guiltily. <laughs> yeah, look, I filled up the feeder. Go to the pond. Go to the pond. Someone will give you... Someone will give you treats. He just has to show his face. He's <laughs> like, oh yeah, Bill. <laughs> I think it's time to open up another bale of hay. your Uh, it looks like we have three more bales. Um, should last about two weeks, I suppose.
Maybe less. Probably kind of like calculate how much we go through. But that would be meaning to do math. We don't want to do no math. Come here. All right, gave you two slices today. We expect you to finish it. I've noticed they keep pulling on this wire right here, so I need to fix it. Scooted back a little. Another reach. Boys. You mind if I check your water? Okay, Pocket, I'm just checking the water. Got a few more days, but it's getting getting on the lower side. I think maybe it's time to do the garden water. It's more than halfway. <laughs> yeah, I checked the water, he checked my fingers. Still missing some. I need him to put them back. Give me back my fingers. Scissors! <laughs> 
Ah, I tricked ya. Hi, Remy. Yeah, yeah, we can get you some. We can get you some. Come here, bud. There we go. Remy eats first. Sassy, you want some? So we've decided upon the names, or I decided. That one's Sassy. And the one with the, the dots, speckled white dots, is Aspen. And I think Sassy was harder to work with. So it's probably appropriate. Einstein, did you miss the girls? I think he did. They didn't seem, they se seemed a little sad last night. The boys were in rebel mode since yesterday. The hens, since they were gone, they jumped on the roof. Einstein, scissors. Um, but it didn't take long. Yeah. They were wondering, wondering where they were. Where's the girls? Are they coming home? Well, we got them taken care of. Both of them had, had mites and they've been treated and all I found this morning were dead mites. So they should be a lot happier. Oh. <laughs> Fell off the roof. Well, it worked. Our little paddle bar worked. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start doing it about uh, every six months, I think. <laughs> and so far, I mean, it's not, it's not like everybody has them. So far, everyone in Rueville has them, but um, we're going to... I'm gonna, but we're down to two more. We're down to Fiddler and Jasper that haven't been treated in Rueville. <laughs> ah, thank you, Anonymous, for a gift to Dark Star. It's so sweet. That's lovely. Thank you. It's, you, you, I mean, unless you, it looks like, I mean, so like Beach Ball and Beverly had them, but not Pine Tree or um, Annie or Broken Leg. Olivia had them. And so it's just kind of like a, you don't necessarily know until you look. And even if you look, then, then, um, um, You've got, uh, 
you, you've got a. Um, you you may not see them because they 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 can they could be present, but you, there might just be like little eggs, or you missed them because they haven't. There's not a big outbreak, so. So you just gotta. I think the best approach is to treating them. Treating them all. But for sure, our highest priorities is where we see it. And also, I saw it in. So we, last year, we we spotted them on scissors, but then we never checked. We never went and checked anybody else after that. Um, so that was the mistake. We needed to do that. Needed to check more. So I haven't been as thorough as I could have been. Well, we'll change that. Because we, I looked at Mr. P and QT, and both of them had mites. And they were with scissors for a while. So that would have been like a logical thing to have done when scissors had it. Yeah, the white truck um, on corral, corral camera. There's other people that operate. I mean, we've got that operate on the farm. So the white truck is probably on the farm, especially if they just like go on right through the gate. They're probably supposed to be here. So. Oh, Remy, how are you? You want some more? Here, catch this pea. <laughs> it bounced off your back. Yeah, <laughs> just walking around and and stumbled upon the pond. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope Bill didn't chase you. You might. You might get, Bill might take a mouthful out of you. Ah, the wild ducks. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. That's kind of what you're already doing, though. Sitting at the shore. <laughs> throwing Bill a few bits. Hopefully we all feel like we're sitting at the shore. is that gifted to film or Tim um, five gifts thank you so much that is so sweet yay yay can you flap your wings for us Woo, yay Scissors is happy. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Much appreciated. And now everybody can send a blaster. <laughs> send a, a 
that's fun. Go use the blaster. Those those big coop pens love it. Ah, uh, glad you enjoy it here, doing the farm chores. Some things are the same every day, and then every day we get like a little surprise <laughs> of something different. Try is a hidden, it's like hidden behind. Like <laughs> you get the behind the scenes. Exactly. You want some cotton? I mean, uh, not cotton. That is stormy. Why'd I call you cotton? I hope you don't feel bad. I have some treats. He's, he feels bad. He doesn't like it. Sorry. What you see, Remy? I don't see anything. Just the little birds. Oh no, he's gonna be goofy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't look at me. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Ah, <laughs> uh, Data Furkin, thank you for subscribing. That's so sweet. Yay, we got another subscriber. Do you wanna cheer? Cheer! <laughs> no flapping? No flapping for us? glides on in. That's good. That's good balance. You've got good balance, scissors. Well, I think that Mozart officially crows more than Einstein ever has. I think Mozart crowed more in the first day. Einstein, how many times have you crowed? I think it's been three. Three times. Mozart did that in one setting. One sitting. Yeah, Scissors is pretty relaxed. Except for towards the end sometimes. Is that a big bite? Let's try and get that down. I think that was two bites that were joined together in his throat. We'll get it down. Just like peanut butter. Yeah, Autumn might be. He's like trying to, trying to show him up. Those younger roos. There we go, we're getting it down. Oh, that's sweet. During Einstein time, Was so sweet. I really enjoyed Einstein time. He was a lot. He's a lot shyer than, a lot more shy than um, than Mozart. It'd be interesting to see. 
Mozart's reaction to the garden. <laughs> Did we get all that down? That was actually like three bites. We had one right there, one, two, and three. Sorry, bud. Am I not giving you enough time to finish swallowing? Mr. P, are we gonna hear from QT? <laughs> Mr. P again. I think I, I think I learned how to identify crowbars, crow, when he was. <laughs> hey, Remy. P. No, he didn't get that one. Here, look. This is a P. Remy! Yeah, there you go. Peas are no longer your favorite. He's a goof. Ah, uh, watch the physical therapy in the mornings. Oh. Yeah. They were so sweet about it. Little muffins. So glad. So glad that it turned out. Like full recovery on that one. <laughs> so yesterday. How about should we try um, popcorn? Is it popcorn today? Here, have a bit of popcorn. Open your mouth. Here's another. Will he... Okay, it's not popcorn. He just picked it up. What is it? You picking up <laughs> it happens so fast I can't tell the girls they just like anything and I think we're down to three bites okay what is it ah it's back to safflower safflower seeds here we'll give you a bunch Come here, bud. Here, I've got you. I've got your favorite. No? No, oh, he wanted on the ground. Safflower it is. He's back to safflower. One. Is that Fiddler? Yeah, that was Fiddler. Hi, Fiddler. That would be Fiddler. One, two. Two bites. Guess what that means? That means there's... The last bite is coming up. Now you're free to go wherever you wish. <laughs> Good 
Good job, scissor. Good job. Yeah, for a while. So Remy's Remy's picky one way or the other. Sometimes he's like, yes, I'll take the seasoning. Other times he's like, no, I will not. on the ground. Are you ready for the snow? There's cotton. Oh no, we got you trapped. for me by the door? Huh, you were waiting for some head scratches? for some treats. Don't eat the camera. Don't, I know you see that blue microphone wire. But I promise, it doesn't taste like licorice. It might taste like blue popsicles, but not licorice. actually the same color as the blue popsicles here. Maybe I can show you. That's what they like to chew on. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes. Got some more gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, An Anonymous. That's so sweet. Yeah, I don't know if it's the color. It's also chewy. I mean, I'm. If I was a kid, I'd chew on it. As an adult, I can't admit that I would chew on it. There's just so much of it that looks so good about it. Usually they don't make cables look so delicious. Little bits of food. <laughs> Why don't you come down a rung? There you go. 
<laughs> she's, you see that? She stood up on her toes so that she could get it. <laughs> there you go, there you go. That's enough. That's enough for you two. You two get plenty at the feeder. It's these two. These two need a lot. With Will is vacuuming up the, the stuff underneath. We will focus on Willis today. What you finding? You finding anything, Willis? Lucy, get your head in here. Oh yeah, he's fine. He found a little bit. He's like way under there. Hi, buddy. I'm surprised he can get so low to the ground. Like he can fit under there. There he goes, he's really reaching. You're halfway under. So I know Storm said before, but what's the reason Willis can't have treats? Um, so it's a little too high energy. Um, rams can be particularly, um, they can get aggressive when, like he could get aggressive to the point where like he sees this bowl, he knows it's it's got treats in it and he just charges me to, to try and get it away so that he can have it all. He even did that a, few, a little bit with Lucy and Ethel when he was like, hey, I wanna know, I wanna know what that is. He, he was pushing and shoving a lot. But right now, he, he knows he's not gonna ever get this. And so he's, be, he's, he's, he's somewhat behaved. He gets a little bit, but. He tries so hard. <laughs> you can see his determination. Like already there's a pretty high risk of Willis ramming me when I go in. It would just it would just be really problematic if I was feeding him treats. Just the head rubs are enough for him to be like a little pushy. Let's gather the eggs. Maybe we're kind of like, so I don't think, I guess we could go look at the go back to the garden and see if there's eggs there. I think we're kind of done. All right, let's break some ice. Oh, someone played the game and they won. I heard it. I heard ding, 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 ding. They 
guess the number. Ice on ice. Yes. Let's go break this ice. fed these chickens. Here I am thinking we're done, but I've been going out of order today. Because we went over and we put those the garden hens back. That's Bill, what Bill was waiting for. Okay, let's go get some of this out for the ducks. Let's get another scoop. I thought I saw some eggs, but I didn't. Just feathers. We got to figure out where they went. Right? I love this spot. That's a real nice spot. Hi, cutie. Cutie's looking nice. Hi, blondie. <laughs> Tree's gonna bend over because of all the eggs in it. I'd believe it. And we're for sure gotta get the water. Oh, and let's do some water. Um, let's do the 
cottage water. You can do one sheep and one cottage. Here I was thinking we were done with George. I was like, oh, George is going quick today. Let's go do water in the for the sheep. Eggs and then water for sheep and cottage.
again, Spike. <laughs> Spike is so pretty. <laughs> Spike and Buddy look a lot alike. They at least have some of the same patterns. That's oh, another pretty boy. Oh, and there's Boss. Boss, what you checking out? I wonder if there's some girls down there. Keeping an eye on the border. I don't see anyone down there. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look. He's got a group over here. He's, he's protecting these, these hens right here. Finding grubs. Finding some grubs on the shoreline. Finding some good stuff. Yeah, he would if he would have seen a predator, he would have called out. He's just watching the sky for for the hens and then if he if he sees something he'll he'll make a holler and depending on his holler the hens will know whether they need to whether the predator is coming from the sky or from the ground He'll let them let the hens focus on eating and finding stuff. And then while he watches, no, no eggs. Let's check here. So one, we got to one egg. This this hen is super dependable. <laughs> Whatever hen that is, she's a dependable one.
Oh, look. What do we have? We have more ice to break. That was like a big break. Myself. Don't get too too excited because then I'll slip. <laughs> and the ducks will laugh at me. Let's go get some water. Lucy! And she runs away. Hi, Mr. P. Looking good. So Mr. P was one of them that had mites and no longer does. He has been treated. We'll go back to the garden and see. I don't know. I mean, the girls have only been back for an hour, so. I think they were pretty excited. They seemed like they really wanted to lay an egg. We'll deliver this one bucket to the sheep and then come back and get another bucket for the garden. And have a peek. I suppose you could peek. <laughs> See if there's any eggs in there and then let me know. Or not, it doesn't matter. We'll find out one way or the other. One egg was already there now. A second incoming, okay, so. So I better grab the egg carton. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so they really were, <coughs> were anxious. Those two hens, they're gonna be our dependable ones for eggs. Aspen and Sassy. two buckets for the sheeps to give that hen a little bit extra time to finish if she's in there right now. Because they could use two buckets. All right, Willis. Do you want one or two buckets? He obviously doesn't care. Ah, and we can see the, here, let's take a, take a view of those hens on this other side. See if you can pick them out. And there's one roo standing guard up, up there. So there's actually three roosters over there with two hens. They've got a lot of protection. Uh, 
Oh, that's sure pretty. Look at those mountains. Pretty day today. So you may need to look under the boxes in the blue coop. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lavender. <laughs> At least she's getting closer. <laughs> getting closer to those boxes. She makes up her own rules. So how'd you get in there? She was in the box for a while, but now she's gone under them and she's not small in. <laughs> no, she's not. suppose it's a it's an upgrade it's a it's a progress rather than just laying out in the middle of the yard just like eating along and then just like oh, I have the urge to go to lay an egg plop and then so at least now she's searching out a box that's good All right, let's get the hay, or not the hay, the water for the cottage. So did Sophie hide the egg under the wood chips in the blue coop? She might have. Ah. Well, we're gonna have to look. Someone laid an egg just in the middle of the hallway the other day. I'm gonna say it was lavender. Would make sense.
right, let's go back to the cottage. Pick up the egg carton on the way. Hi, Mr. P. Hi, Jasper. Catch that? Did you see Banksy? <laughs> Might be able to get close to him. He went off into here. Hi, Banksy. Wherever you are, he's built a home in there. It's probably a pretty good home. I mean, you look at it, see how those are like all arched over and such. He could make himself a good home in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for a muskrat, that sounds like a good home. has autumn or icy come back to the farm today nope they're still there <laughs> we're gonna switch Mozart out for autumn let autumn stay autumn's quiet Mozart's noisy I guess go figure, right? I mean, his name's Mozart after all. Must make noise. Yeah, Autumn's pretty calm. So far, he's been calm. I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll get crazy. Autumn sets Mozart off. <laughs> yeah, he is. Hi, Aspen. This is Aspen. Let's get you water. Go. That was what was left. All right, let's get. Let's see about the eggs inside the cottage. We still have someone laying. Well, there's one egg. All right, we'll grab that one. I 
<laughs> All right, so do we think that the large egg, this is the large egg? Sassy or Aspen, who lays it? Who lays it, chat? You know. You gotta tell me. I don't know. That's the only one that's laid. It's the big egg. Oh, goodness. No one knows. <laughs> like, where are we watching it? So before it was, I mean, it's a little, it's warm. It's not terribly warm. Now I know Sassy was in the coop when I, when I got here. Um, that much I know. But. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, we can hatch it. <laughs> They look so much alike, and they and 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 you know they're just gonna look like Einstein. <laughs> Whatever we do, we hatch this, and it'll look like Einstein. Uh, oh, maybe we'll hatch one. Come spring, no one's Brody right now, so. Oh no, the hens are looking for the egg. Sorry, girls, I took it. <laughs> Thank you all for a great farm day today. We've had fun, had lots of success. Got an egg. That's nice. It's nice for one of those days. You take care, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.